Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. In this vlog we cruise two miles from Queenshead to Maysbury Marsh and we go through the other two of the three Aston Locks. Yes, and uh, as we were very near to the British Ironworks Centre, um, where we were near Queenshead, we decided to pay that a visit and more to explore. Yes, we went and had a look at that and before we show you the cruise, we'll show you some brief highlights of uh, looking around the British Ironworks Centre. Well worth a visit, costs literally a couple of pounds for a year's membership. And hopefully it's now all up and running and it's the home of the Knife Angel. If you've ever seen that particular sculpture. Right, onwards and upwards. She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Vega. And this is Narrowboat Soulmates. More to explore. Well, here we are, not far from the Montgomery Canal, and we're more into explore. Yes, we're out and about visiting the ironworks and seeing some of the great sculptures they've got. As per this one in front, yeah, there's all sorts. And usually the knife angel comes here, if you've ever seen it. We're about to see it, I think, hopefully tomorrow, but I'll just show you a quick video of the sign so you can get it. You can always pause your video if you want to know about it. There they are. Yeah, and as you can see, it's a beautiful day, and there's quite a few sculptures to see. Yeah, it looks really good. Lots of animals, owls, etc. Yes, and some fantastic sculptures here. Told you about the Knife Angel, but that's not here at the moment. That's down the road in Newtown, so you can always have a visit there. Beautiful day, though. As I said earlier, let's have a quick look at some of these sculptures. I don't want to take a video of them all, because I want to encourage you to come along to these places. But if it gives you... A a flavour of what they're about, then that's good. There's the horse. Particularly like this one of the bull. It's great, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that for a bit of iron work, eh? Okay. Not too sure about some of these modern sculptures. Hmm, what do you think? Animals, like this deer. Ali getting maximum use of her phone and taking photos of all these animals. Look at that one. Hey. Yes, all sorts of animals here. As you can see, there's one of the artists painting up a zebra there. Over here we've got a scorpion, I reckon. And also a horse and some chimps or monkeys. Yeah, so this is the safari field, so with all those African type animals in the main. And on the back we've got the film star, King Kong. Here he is. Made out of spoons. Just the 40,000 spoons. Ooh, I'll show you. Ooh. You can see in the mouth there. Yeah, and these are British red deer. Being made out of 
iron, they're pretty red. Yes, majestic lion there, birds, another lion over there. And look, you don't have to go out to Africa, we've got the wildebeest here, climbing over each other to get over that river and avoid that uh, lion that's chasing them. But yeah, there's lots to see. There's a nice cafe and you can buy all sorts of things for your garden. Not that I've got one, of course. The canal towpath's my garden. And Ziggy's enjoying it because he's getting a nice walk, aren't you, Zig? Hey. So, here we are at Aston Toplock Queen's Head in Oz Street. And we're just about to set off on our way. We've got just under two miles to go today. Uh, we're heading for Maysbury Marsh and we're going to moor just near the old boneyard. Anyway, uh, it's a pleasant morning. No rain, that's the good news. No fog either, uh, like there has been the last couple of nights. Anyway, it's looking good for a cruise. Let's go. Well, yeah, not a bad spot. Not many boats, i.e. one I think has passed, but that's about it. You ready, Zig? You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Let's get going then. Let's get on the move. Ali's at the front, sorting everything out. Yeah, and down there seems to be either a pound. I can see the uh, life ring there in case somebody, somebody falls in. So I'm not sure whether that's just to fill the uh, canal or not. Probably is. But yeah, we're heading towards Aston Lock number two, I think it is. Probably got the two locks today. Rally to do. Very quiet on this canal. I think it was only four boats on the other day. Saw another boat come past, as I say, a GRP, one of those little cruisers, heading down this way. Right, so, Ali's filled the lock. That didn't take long, because I don't think it's particularly deep. We're on our way in. A little bit of a bywash going down to the bottom of the lock. Not particularly strong at the moment because we haven't had much rain yet. Don't ask me about the forecast for the next week. Seven days, they say. But they're usually wrong, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that one. What do you reckon, Ellie? What, seven days is too long? Brenton Wood, bit of a soul. Yeah, all right. So here we are, Aston Lock number two. And there's some of those boards that they use to block up the canal and stop water getting through. Yes, so Aston Lock number two. Get this one done and then the next one's a little bit further on. And uh, go from there. Be a bit of a 360.
What are you yawning for? You've had a massive sleep. Hey, Ziggy. That was a big yawn. Hey. Well, they're all rocking and rolling when uh, Ali opened that lock gate. The other gate was shaking. That one was shaking on its pin. Hmm. Right, Aston lock number two done. And we're on our way out. Cloudy today, as you can see. Bright, but cloudy. All these gates seem to be 1997 or thereabouts. Yeah, so they must. They usually last 20 years, but obviously they don't get quite so much use here, do they? Yeah, so it looks like little uh, pounds or for the canal to either overflow back that way or the other way, presumably. A couple of swans in there, enjoying a very peaceful spot. I didn't think it would be long, did I? And here it is, the next lock of the day, and perhaps even the last lock. Ali can put her feet up at the front and just take photos. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. Although we could do it a little bit better sky. A bit of blue would help. Safely. Safely. Yeah. And as you can see, next lock ready to be tackled. They've all got the kayak uh, launching or landing point there. For all those kayakers that go on this canal. Well, strangely enough, that lock there is full, pretty much. So, presumably, that must be to do with the leaky gates at the front that's the only thing I can think of because obviously a boat went down yesterday what's that? yeah these all seem to be 1997 so I think that might have been when the canal was restored and reopened. 
So yeah, we'll have a look at this back lock gate in a minute. See if it's leaking, because obviously if the front two lock gates aren't leaking, and this one is, then it'll gradually fill up, particularly overnight. But yeah, beautiful spot here, as you can see. And you can see why there would be plenty of bird life. Obviously, it's a little bit quiet this time of the year. But come another few weeks on, towards spring, I'm sure there'll be bird song everywhere. So yeah, we've got these mile markers. saying about those lakes leaks there's the first sign I'll have a look in a minute when we get totally drained well Ali just opened the front uh, right hand lock gate that means we're definitely as low as we we're going and yeah look at this that is why it filled up even though a boat has only gone down it, so it should be empty. Helped us on this occasion now. Yes, well, that's lock number three, or Aston lock number three, done. But yeah, so the nature reserve is through that gate over there where we were looking only a few minutes ago. Right, let's pull over for Ali. And then we'll be onwards and upwards. Right. As I say, onwards and upwards. Let's go, Zeke. Let's look for some of them squirrels. I think we're only doing the best part of a couple of miles today. work been going on here keep these hanging trees in order there's quite a lot of branches in the canal though but yeah obviously a lot of these lean over once they go you can't get past so cross that canal First bridge of the day. Look at that. Beautiful reflections, can you see? Yeah. 
77. Yeah, look at that over there. Beautiful view. Look at that, blue skies. Quick. Certainly liking the look of that bridge with Quick the blue sky. Let's have a look. It. Grab some of that. I did run, run the engine this morning. Just boost the power. Like the crop's been sown. Look at that field. Just wait for the spring for things to start growing, I suppose. Robin up here. Hey. Robin. What? Robin! You oh, see it? And the sun's coming out. Hooray! Hooray! Three. Hooray! Yeah, three cheers for the sun coming out. I got some blue sky. Excellent. Get them solar panels working, should we? Give them a bit of a workout. I know you're not most supposed to look at the sun, but they are, just to prove it's out. I'll let you have a peep at it. Well, here we are just before Bridge 78. A little bit of a winding hole, I reckon. Good. 
Not long after I mentioned fallen trees, well, it's more like a bush really this one, isn't it? But yeah, we're, oh, the side's quite shallow. The boat's tilting to the right. We're obviously going to try and avoid that. In the water. Not bad enough with a little tree like this that's fallen in, as you can see. But as we went to the side there, it's quite shallow, so the boat was getting stuck. So I had to head over to the bank on the opposite side there to try and get past. Now I'm just going to try and see if I can curve around without scratching the paintwork of the boat. There we go. Kill the boat. There. front of the boat's coming round. Straighten it up, hopefully not getting too shallow an area. Give the tiller a bit of a waggle and get back in the middle. Yes. That's a bit of a pain, that. That's another one, look. Yeah, they're all sprouting and falling over here. Hopefully we'll be all right now. But yeah, that was a bit of uh, trouble trying to get past that. Just try not to get the boat scratched as well. I could go right up against the tree, of course, but that's going to scratch all my paintwork. There's not so these little offshoots of water, streams, ponds, mini lakes. Beautiful view out there. That's with the sheep all around the tree. Probably having a look at the bark. Yeah, look. Overflow there. Goes quite a way though, doesn't it? All along here. Still going, Ali? Yep. So we're mooring up on the left, just up here. Before the bridge. Before the bridge. Yeah. That's the chimney from the bone works on the horizon. Where they used to sort of incinerate, is it? I don't know, but basically get those bones and I think they use them in the pottery industry. I'm not sure around here what that would be for. Well, this is where we moored up, just outside the boneyard, and uh, yeah, lovely spot it is too. Hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog and our visit to the British Ironworks, and also the trip along the Montgomery Canal. If you did, click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, yeah, we'd love you to click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to know when the next one's out, click the bell button. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.